Don Bosco has been uh, one of the most established uh, institutions around. When you talk about EGMO, the first thing which comes across the mind is Don Bosco. And uh, they've been there for more than 50 years. In spite of many other institutions coming in, they have been holding to their name for their discipline, the way they speak and well-mannered. They can also be educated from like uh English knowledge more than other schools. They are providing the standards and they maintain the English fluency. Ah, I have wondered that how they maintain their English fluency and also they maintain standards and they maintain the disciplines, the standards. Are, so it's a nice school to study and you have moral ethics. School and other coaching is a Kelly Education, dance, music, dramatics, debate, quiz, cricket, football, basketball, character formation, trending, infrastructure, coping with technology, cordiality through loving rapport, you name it all, I can put everything under one name, Don Bosco. In 1859, Don Bosco founded the Salesian Society. In 1906, first Salesians reached India to spread the dream of Don Bosco. In 1911, Salesians established th themselves throughout the world. In 1959, Don Bosco Egmo was founded as matriculation school affiliated to the University of Madras. In 2021, more than 15,000 Salesians are globally spread across in 1,808 presences with more than 3,000 schools, colleges, technical schools and youth centers in 125 countries. I am glad that you become a part of our Salesian family. Happy to interact with you. God bless you. And this is Don Bosco Egmo, my school. So what is so great about your school that you love it so much? Well bro, Don Bosco Egmo is not just a word for me, it is an emotion. I'll tell you more about the school. Come let's sit down. Yeah, okay. Bro, before I tell you about the school though, first I should tell you about this man called Don Bosco. Who is Don Bosco? Well, Bosco was the patron saint of our school. At the age of 9, he saw a dream where Jesus Christ and Mother Mary came and said to him, change the boys from wolves into playful lambs. And since then, his life mission was to serve the poor and the young. His life motto was, Da mihi anima setera tole, which means, give me souls and take away their rest. He passed away in 1888, but ever since then his legacy has not died and today we have over 14,000 Salacious of Don Bosco working in over 132 countries and Don Bosco Egmont is a part of them. Now it's time to talk about my school, Don Bosco Egmont. The name evokes such strong emotions and memories within me and I'm more than happy to tell you the various wonderful aspects about my school Aruvind. 
let's begin with the koidos i considered the koidos as the soul of my school it was in these koidos that i played laughed cried jumped fell and most importantly learned so many things in life these koidos speak volumes to me even in silence i've had my fondest memories here in these koidos arvind by the way i heard that you wanted to become a scientist right well you will absolutely love our science center you can do wonderful experiments in the chemistry lab you have state of the art apparatus in the physics lab and mind blowing biological models in the biology lab you can build up your scientific curiosity there computers and the internet have such huge impact on us and therefore our school dedicated a separate computer lab where students can learn programming languages and other important skills i've always loved to solve puzzles and max lab was a dream come true for me here i developed a love and genuine interest for the subject of mathematics now let's come to one of my favorite places which is the library you would ask me why is library one of the favorite places in the school it is because i would get absorbed in these beautiful fictional worlds created by the authors recently my school built an auditorium in honor of father rosario This is where the important meetings of my school take place. Oh, the classrooms are when let's talk about the classrooms. Within these four walls of the classroom, I learned various subjects in a conducive environment, and there is nothing better in the world than to learn and enjoy with your friends in a classroom. The teachers imparted the wisdom and knowledge, and that blackboard is where the real teaching happens. When I pass out of the school, I'll miss these chairs and tables, playing various games and benches, eating lunch from a lunch boxes, such fond memories. Virgil once said, "The greatest wealth is health. The health of each and every student is a top priority for my school, and that's why we have a health center in case of any health emergencies that may arise." Arvind you will find a sense of comfort in the chapel when you pray in silence and talk to god himself by the way arvin you know that i'm a foodie and the mama mia cafeteria has such delicious foods that are so mouth watering during the games period i would play football and basketball with my friends in this huge ground you should definitely visit our school auditorium arvin this was the place where i honed my extra curricular skills and showcased my talents to a wide audience and hundreds of school events were conducted here in a grand manner the office and the reception plays a very important role in dealing with various groups of people and coordinating the diverse activities of my school they have always helped me in various situations and never hesitate to clarify my doubts in the record room Every file is carefully stacked and placed in order to maintain a record of all things related to school. They make sure that everything is placed properly which will help for future references. The assistant headmaster and the teachers coordinators create a long-lasting bond with the students. The teaching faculty also has a separate computer room in order to satisfy their technological needs. I can assure you Arvind that you will absolutely love our great teachers. Examinations are a part and parcel of every school's life. Therefore my school has an exam department that prepares question papers that makes the students think logically and go way beyond the textbook. Arvind, my school is run by kind-hearted salesians who we lovingly call them as fathers. Father administrator plays a very important role in making sure that everything functions smoothly in my school. Father Rector is the supreme head of my institution and motivates and directs all individuals to strive to the very best of their abilities. He is an able leader as well as a communicator. And last but not the least is my father principal, the backbone of the school. 
You must see his office, Arvind. They are filled with numerous, awesome, glamorous trophies. He has a great bond and connection with all individuals, ranging from parents to students to teachers and as well as authorities. Arvind, one of my favorite quotes of Don Bosco is, "Run, jump, and play, but do not sin." The Salesians focus on the holistic development of the students. They are not just into academics; they also instill a spirit of sportsmanship within all of us. My school keeps coaching classes for cricket, football, basketball, and even tennis. These trainings help us in skills like teamwork and discipline, and inspire us to follow our dreams. Words have a great way of impacting people. My school realizes that and makes sure that inspiring quotes are shown everywhere, so that students like me get motivated. Our school has produced many illustrious past peoples. For example, Sanjay Pinto, a talk show host; Vishwanath Anand, a grandmaster in chess; Dinesh Kartik, an Indian cricketer; Vishal, a famous Hollywood actor; Diana De Maran, a famous politician; Vijay Adiraj, who is another famous actor; Arman Ibrahim, a Formula One racer; and James John Brito, who came first in CA exam. Hey, Arman. Hey, guys. What are you doing? Nothing much. I was talking to my cousin. Oh, by the way, this is Arvind, and this is Rohan, and this is Peter. Hey, man. Hey, guys. Hey, what's up? Yeah, so I was talking to my cousin about our school, basically. That's great. So you're um, talking about the school. So I think I too would like to, you know, share something about our fine school here. Let's begin with the various events that are conducted by our school annually. We begin with the Independence Day. Where we celebrate the day India got freedom from the British. The investiture ceremony is the official inauguration of the school. The student leaders are elected and they take the oath of office, and they carry out all the duties of the school to the best of their abilities. Our teachers put up a fun show for us during Children's Day. The Children's Day is conducted to celebrate the birth of Jawaharlal Nehru, our first Prime Minister of India. Our school conducts various educational tours. For example, in one of the years, our students visit various tourist spots in America, like the NASA laboratory. We also celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ, and our school puts up a lively show during Christmas with carols and Santa Claus to spread joy and happiness everywhere. We also conduct a popular inter-house cultural event called the Rendezvous. Where students of different houses, namely Bosco, Xavier, Rua, and Thomas, portray their talents on stage and off stage, thus bringing laurel to their houses. We are also known for conducting the DBMRF tournament, which is a much sought-after cricket tournament in Chennai. We conduct various football tournaments because. It is one of the most popular sports in our school. In line with various sports in the school campus, the annual athletic meet of Don Bosco Egmo shines out in the school's calendar every year. During this day, students participate in various athletic events enthusiastically, and boys who have excelled in various sports are given the chance to carry the Olympic torch and then light it to mark the commencement of the sports meet. This day creates an awareness about sports and physical health in our lives. Our school nurtures its young Einsteins and Newtons by giving them an opportunity to showcase their talents and scientific curiosity through science exhibitions. By the way, do you also know that there's this thing? Our students speak various foreign languages like French and German. For example, listen to this conversation. Hello. What happened with your students? I'm Fred. We finished the Deutsch Alman. Ich finde Deutsch einfach. Die Deutschstunde gefällt mir sehr. Deutsch ist mein Lieblingsfach. Unsere Deutschlehrerin erzählt uns viel Interessantes über Deutschland. Wir lernen deutsche Lieder und Gerichte. In der Zunge will ich mein Masterstudium in Deutsch machen. Deutsch lernen macht Spaß. Our school is one of the few schools that teach German. Not only this, our school also gives an opportunity for some of its students to be a part of the Pasch Scholarship Program, where they travel to Germany in collaboration with the Goethe Institute. The students get an exposure 
about the various aspects of German culture, which helps them grow culturally and make friends with different people around the world. It is such an enthralling experience for them. The pandemic disrupted education throughout the country, but our school didn't give up. It made sure that quality education was provided to the students even during a pandemic. Our school brought high-tech interactive boards through which the teachers could teach students both online and offline. Learning went beyond the four corners of the classroom. This was certainly an evolutionary taken by our school. When all the events were cancelled due to the pandemic, the school made extra efforts to make sure that the events were conducted online so that the students can enjoy them. For example, a school used the digital road and provided an online Christmas celebration to the students. They also conducted various online events like Teacher's Day, Investiture So Many, Independence Day and many more. During the peak of the pandemic, the classes were conducted online through Google Meet and students attended classes from the comforts of their homes. DB Egmo served as an example that learning can take place anywhere. Revelation is one of the most coveted inter-school cultural events conducted by our school. When our hopes were destroyed by COVID-19, our school didn't let us down. They kept this cultural extravaganza online and around 30 schools took part in various competitions. Prizes were awarded to the winners and students also made a charity contribution to deserving students from other schools. That's so great about your school. I wish I could also be a part of it. Well definitely bro, you could be a part of our school because Don Bosco doesn't exclude anyone. Come be part of our school.